<sighs> you in this position because of your punk ass dad. You're a liar. <sighs> I'm a liar of shit. But a liar I'm not. My dad will come for me. For our sake, I hope he do. Hey, these pads have the new heptacork technology from 66 Centauri built in. Mm. You can communicate instantaneously with people that are light years away. There's a whole interstellar internet. So we can talk to colonists with these pads right here, right now. Huh. I'd love to talk to them about how crazy Earthlings are. <laughs> here is a portal to genealogical data. We could find our family members and their descendants. Mom, you could find your sister and her great-grandchildren. We could video chat. Or well, we'll try to corrupt them. <laughs> Good idea. Um, Eric, the manager wants us to wrap, like, now-ish. Perfect. So what good are female wiles if you don't use them, Laura? I think he would have preferred yours, pretty lips. Solution. Solution. Really? He said my lips are pretty. Solution. Or tell him we'll buy dinner for the entire cast and crew, and if we need to, we'll have the wrap party there as well. Now just feed mine a Craig, you know? It'd be like a petting zoo. He already smells like one. Sorry. Forgot. Mr. Nice Guy. Craig doesn't smell. I mean, he's smart. And sexy. Yeah, look. Dream man made flesh. Money is going to solve this problem, not prostitution, not mockery. It's fine, I got it. It's okay, tell Norman I want to get that pickup shot after we reset. Okay, I want to shoot under the oak glass. Great. It's out cold. You open up the back door for me. You want me to drug somebody? Again? I almost killed the last guy you had me slip a pill to. It was half this size. He did not almost die. He fell asleep for like seven weeks. It's called a coma. <laughs> do you want to do the heist or not? I hope you don't mean this Friday night. Yes, this Friday night. Is that a problem? Yeah, kinda. I'm getting married on Saturday. I'll have you home by your curfew if that's what you're worried about. You don't understand. What am I gonna tell my fiance I'm doing the night before our wedding? He doesn't know what you do for a living, does he? Thinks I'm a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> that poor, innocent, ignorant little man. Not all of us want to live a life of crime like you forever, Malcolm. Yes, they do.